Welcome to Psychologies. My name is Gemma Brown. I'm a barefoot coach and creator of this How to Comfort Yourself coaching program. In times of uncertainty, worry or difficult situations in life, such as experiencing a redundancy, relationship breakdowns, losing someone close to you, having an argument or simply having a bad day, we can find ourselves reaching for unhealthy tools to help us feel better. But what if we didn't reach for food, alcohol, our devices, or even to another person? What if you knew that the comfort you needed was available within you? Over the course of four weeks, this coaching programme will help you discover healthy ways to comfort and soothe yourself when you're feeling particularly triggered, overwhelmed, or anxious. This is week one of four in the coaching programme and in this short coaching video, you will explore what comfort means to you. You can access the other videos to start the course from the beginning or you can subscribe to Psychology's magazine to access the full course, including weekly journal workbooks for the more in-depth coaching. Subscribe via the link in this video's caption. But if you're already a subscriber, head over to the Life Leap Club page on the Psychologies website and register there or sign in. So let's get started with week one, exploring what comfort means to you. How and where we find comfort is very individual to each person. What works for you will be different to what works for me. In our busy schedules, it is also really difficult to find the time to give ourselves that bit of extra attention. So we reach for quick fixes, short-term solutions and create unhealthy habits that don't serve us in the long term. But what if you knew that the answer to finding comfort is available within you and available to access 24 seven should you need to? In this first week, we're going back to basics to find out what comfort really means to you. It can be really easy to compare our behaviours and activities with others and what they're doing, or focus on what we think we should be doing. Next, I'm gonna ask you a series of questions, and so take some time to reflect on these, as it may be some time since you've given them some thought. It's also useful to have a journal or a notebook to hand to note your thoughts down and refer to at a later date. So try and leave comparisons to one side. Speak from your heart with compassion and honesty. For question one, what words, thoughts and feelings do you associate with feeling comforted? Question two, can you recall a time when you last felt comforted? What was it specifically about that situation that felt comforting to you? Was it the person you were with, the language, the environment? Number three, in which ways do you seek out comfort? Question four, what do you do to comfort others, like close family and friends? Sometimes it can be easier to think about what we do for others rather than focusing on ourselves. Question five. On a scale of one to 10, how comforted are you feeling right now? Number six. Between now and next week, what could you do to increase your score slightly? Question eight. What opportunities or resources are available to you to help you increase that score? Could it be something to read or a book, perhaps listen to a particular podcast or talk to a friend who may be experiencing similar? And finally, describe a five minute practice that you would find comforting that is completely possible for you to do. Note this down somewhere so you can resort to it if you feel the need over the next week. This way you're preparing in advance and giving yourself the best chance to seek comfort rather than going back to old default habits. Look back over your notes now and um, notice what's standing out for you in exploring what comfort means to you. That's it for week one. 
take care and I'll look forward to seeing you next week.